The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> Oh, so really you shouldn't laugh at that. Hi guys, Vinci Gamer back and we're reacting to episode 5. It's episode 5 of Hell of a Boss. It's called the Harvest Moon Festival Red Knights. Isn't that some computer game? Guys, I'm very looking forward to this one, guys. We've seen some awesome gifts for it on Twitter so far. We got Molly's... Um, Molly? Millie's parents. We got, um, Wacky Wally Wack Wackford. We've got... We got ball gags. Let's face it. I'd, I'd imagine that's probably going to be the first, uh, the first scene. Either way, guys, I'm look really looking forward to this one. I have a feeling that I'm actually going to particularly like this one. I just really want to know. I just really want to meet Millie's parents. As soon as she mentioned them in episode two, I was like, I "Wonder if I'm going to meet them." We're going to meet them right now for now. I cannot wait. Um, it is 10 p.m. my time on a Friday, so I have treated myself to uh, gin and tonic and cranberry. I call it a moxie. Anyway, nights. I'm looking forward to this. Can we possibly get this video to 500 likes, guys? I know it's a push, but if we can do it, that'd be greatly appreciated. Let's check out Hell of a Boss, Episode 5, The Harvest Moon Festival. Stone us from a ball gag. Uh. Too good, too good. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. When this happens, it's not really something I fuss about, but do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, Smoking? my grimoire is actually incredibly important, and it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty imps like yourself. Ow. The harvest moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. Oh, why don't you all join me my at the employees. festival? employees. I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> I told you, we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply <laughs> offering a work-free day right. of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuck-fest invite, it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. It's gonna Plus, be. It's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. <laughs> Best rally. The main event. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. What do you want, sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some Harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival? We fucking all! <sighs> oh, of course, well, employees. I'm an idiot. The idea. Wait, where are you calling from? <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course. Classic Blitz. Here we go! Oh. Mama! Daddy! Yee-haw! How's my deadly little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa. Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. These it's voices. no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing fine. Million the casuals. Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Mopsy. <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Joe, how have you been now uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here? We lost our old farmhand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs. crumbs. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. They don't like me knowing that wound, sir. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, bucko. Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't met my boss, Blitz, and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. She's yeah, shorter than usual. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out this little gem of an assassin. Oh my god. You raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> that we did. So, oh. Blitz is it? <laughs> Moxie gets That's no respect. My name. It reminds me of war. Uh, nothing like a little war to make a strong man. I like you people. You know, okay, so they don't like Moxie. The battles were won by technological advances in warfare. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of hell's combat. Angelic technology? I mean, war fun. 
Guns get the job done. But a man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. Oh, Moxie. He's right, Moxie. You got cute little baby hands like your baby did. Refrain, sir. Speaking of strong hands, y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! Oh, God, here we go. <clears throat> oh, my God. This guy's design is freaking awesome. I'm not as good as Moxie, don't get me wrong. Well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Oh. <laughs> what are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh, the free work and finally slowing down? Oh, no. Freelance isn't free. It's a... Never mind. <laughs> We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> Oh, so you really should laugh at that. Imp to start his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive. This guy looks cool. Oh. I admit. Yeah, it is. I, I guess. I guess it is, isn't it? So you even con that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. But he's not like you know. We're we're not like we're not doing a. We, the, what's between? It's a transactional fucking, you see. You know, you boys should enter the pain games. I heard games. Oh, God. Games. I'm in. Every Harvest Festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in Raya. Yeah. Wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last God, competition ended in 15 Sorry. separate funerals. I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Sarah <laughs> May still gets to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. Sister? She so does. He goes in Canada, they don't find the body. Still, you get to oh. root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. Her and your brothers. You know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> Come on, Moxie. Wait, you? Yeah, I could compete, can't I? <laughs> uh, oh boy, but I don't think sensitive thespian types would last. That's unnecessary. Games. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. <laughs> well then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Oh, God. Watch me now with these. Bullets can't pierce a shell. You gotta get the knife underneath and pry yourself an opening. Oh, That's right, Middy's right. area, area, isn't it? Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> oh, Mox, you don't need to do this. Oh, he totally does. Take it fast! Come on, Moxie. Yeah! This definitely isn't going to go badly. Moxie's my favorite character if you can't guess, guys. I think you probably can't guess. Oh my god, yes! Team Moxie, all day. He's doing all right. Is that loud? Moxie warmed, warmed him up for it. Softened him up. Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. He softened it up. Hey, boss man. You want to help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What who said? Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <laughs> Don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. No, they won't. What? I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. <sighs> How pissed would you be if I bet on him dying? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Love this guy. <clears throat> How kind, Blackfoot. Greetings, tiny wrath ring imps. It's all imps, I welcome you all to another year of celebrating the spoils of your labor that continue to feed the citizens of hell. I'm happy to kick off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest imps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all. Oh, Moxie, please win. Especially that sexy little one there. Yoo-hoo, Blitzy. Oh, okay. 
Put me in the other dude. No! Oh, I see! Salt call sort of thing. Come on, Moxie. So somehow you you're gonna win. Okay, maybe not. No! Oh god, no! Mud wrestling! Oh, I wonder who Snows is going to choose to win. Alright, so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. Is that an addict reference, sir? Oh, this isn't as good as O'Milly. It's gonna be nice working with him. Working with him? What? Yeah, I asked him if he wants to join IMP. You asked? But... Max, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Oh, no. Striker's gonna die by the end of this episode, guys. I'm hoping. Oh, was that also Millie's siblings? Oh, look at the picture in the background. What are you thinking, Moxie? Well, that's troubling. Oh. Oh, my crumbs. A genuine Carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle. That's a pretty cool looking gun. How in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Why do you have Moxie's this? language? Mister, you are aware this kind of weapon can kill demon royalty. Yes, that. No shit. That's kind of the point. Oh god. Well, I I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your possession of this. I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh god. No, 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 no. Nice. The lighting in this guy is beautiful. Oh, gold. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. Hell yes. Oh, crap. I'd kill y'all, but Ow. I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Plus, you little things ain't worth the cleanup. He is technically a clown, to be fair. Was. Millie! Oh, Satan! Moxie, I'm fine. I got worse than this during the flower tufts at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bouquet, and it was fucking worth it. <laughs> you just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. But I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Oh, not with don't. your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I probably should have used this earlier. Huh? <laughs> I love you, Hula. But for fuck's sake. Bless. My dear commoners of the Ring of Wrath, I, Stolas of the Ars Goisha, hereby curse this year's harvest with the glow of the true harvest moon. That's pretty cool. 
You gotta look out for references at the end of this, guys. Oh god. Excuse me. The fuck? Liz. I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl on stage? Huh. And now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Liz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia. <laughs> only to Wait, no. topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be slaying overlords. Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Yeah, because he's trustworthy. Treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kind of hot. We could be the most <laughs> dangerous beings in hell. Let's see. Oh, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. Huh? Took you long enough, Mox? <laughs> wow, you should have seen your dipshit face. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Whoa! Oh, you daddy fucker. Ah! Hell yes. Hand to hand combat. This is new. You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? Ha! You seem to have forgotten something, fucko. Luna. Fucking damn it, Luna. It's a damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk. No! I never thought Blitz would be good at hand to hand combat. Oh my god! Whoa! They need to make a fighting game, guys. They need to make a fighting game. I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak. He's gonna get one. You gonna finish that fucking sentence, partner? Vermin. Who's weak now, bitch? Okay, I'm here. <laughs> no! He's gonna get away. I mean, next time, Blitzy. We're seeing him again, guys. Whoa! I can't believe. Red, Ma, and he was slippery. Excuses, you're better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me, and maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead, <laughs> but Millie has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on her case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired. Shame on you. Oh, Moxie. Shame on you. Speaking like a big boy with his big pants. Acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? Probably not. Hideaway Motel. Uh, I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. That won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! Wait, wait, what? Holy crap, that's a big twist at the end there. Sweet victory. What a twist at the end there, guys. As soon as it said she, I thought, Stella? And then she just appears bang right there. That was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed this one, guys. Striker's badass. I did predict he'd die earlier on, but then I thought, nah, he's going to come back. Obvious, I think all the villains are going to come back, possibly in the last episode. I actually think it might be like, not by royal, but sort of like against him sort of thing, you know? So I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Veroska is coming back. And that's it. Let's have a look at what happened. Okay, so we see a few more members of Millie's family here. I wasn't sure if they were, but then they do show up in the picture that follows just in a moment. There we go. Here and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we did see all of them actually in there, didn't we? Yes, because that's the... what. This is the one that we saw earlier on in the episode with this one. And then we saw those two just then. So, yeah, that appears to be all Miss family, guys. I gotta say, I really did like this one. I feel like this is going to be ranking very, very high up for me. Um, I did expect it to be more about Millie. 
in a way, it was more... I want to say it's more about Mox, but really, it wasn't really about anyone. It was like kind of like, like even across the board, which I appreciate. Obviously, Luna was kind of an outside in it, but she always is, though, really, isn't she? So apart from an episode three, of course. Um, Striker's really cool. I'm glad that he didn't die, because this guy is a typical... He reminds me of Fang from the old Sonic games, or like a couple of Sonic games. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of fictional characters called Striker, guys. My mind instantly always goes to Mortal Kombat 3, which is like the least coolest character ever, but this guy was really freaking cool. And I love his his design, his arc and everything. He is a genuine threat to Imp as a whole, which is actually very, very cool. I think that the, the Hillbillies, if they were to fight one, like straight up, Imp would probably win. Um, Viserali against the whole of Imp would probably lose. Sorry, Imp would win uh, against the Hillbillies. Viserali would lose against the whole of Imp. The Cherubs definitely would uh, lose in a straight up fight against Imp. Whereas this guy, he's a he's a lit d legit danger to demons, let alone Imps. And so, frigging Alistair. Ugh, actually, he is a he's technically a human soul, right? Okay, that's a bad example. What's a good example? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick someone terrible. Um, okay, let's go high and say <laughs> Blimey. Oh god, I can't remember his name now. Like Lilith, for example. I'm trying to think of someone who's actually hellborn. You're gonna all comment saying that Lilith is hellborn. I'm sorry if that's the case, guys. I I I have a mental block when it comes to this sort of thing. Now, earlier on in my reactions to Hello Boss, I did kind of predict that maybe Stolas wouldn't survive the whole thing and Octavia will be moving up to a more significant role in this series. This scene here kind of suggests that might actually happen, guys. I, I, I think it's because the whole You'll Be Okay song is like, you know, a red flag when it comes to a character, you know. But this scene here, let's re-watch this. Oh, with sound, please. Boy, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through, make it happen! How did Stolas not hear? I mean, Octavia, Octavia's rocking out. What are you eating, by the way? Cheating prick. I wonder if it's vegan. Hang on, hang on. I want to see who's in that picture as well. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating Oh, it's not a picture. Bolts. Okay, ignore me then. Dead. I don't care who you have to go through, make it happen! I love Stella, guys. I actually do. I actually really like Stella. I know I shouldn't, but I think she's freaking hilarious. What is it, like potatoes? That almost looks vegan. There's no mice on that table, guys, which kind of surprises me. I really like this one, guys. I feel like it's going to be uh, ranking high for me. If you haven't seen already, I've done a ranking for the first half series of this. We are halfway through already, and so... We'll be seeing what the next three episodes are going to be like, guys. But this, for me, this, for me, is going to be ranking high. And I'll admit, Striker might be one of the reasons why I'm ranking it high. But I love the drama and I love the progression of the story. We don't usually get a hint of what's yet to come at the end of an episode. This one absolutely uh, pull it out there. And so, Stella versus Stolas, guys. And where is Octavia going to land all, all of this? I cannot wait to find out. If you've spotted anything that I didn't, then nice, please let me know in the comments. You know what I'm like, I always miss stuff. If, you, if you're new here, please check out my abundance of Hasbro Hotel and and uh, Hell of a Boss stuff in the in the in the playlist. And yes, guys, this was great. Let me know where you'd rank it compared to the other episodes. Please like and subscribe. All the good stuff. I'm Vegemite, and I'll see you next time.